Hello everyone and welcome to Star Renegades. This is a early access slash beta version of the game, which actually drops tomorrow on the 8th on Steam. Star Renegades is a roguelike game in its basic form, but with a lot more extra additions. When you die, you will start over from the beginning, but a single run should only take you 2-3 to three hours. Every time you start, you will start with a fresh squad of level 1s. Apparently, there's a lot of cool weapons, heroes, and perks to unlock, which can make each run varied. However, there's still the basic RPG concepts of um, like well-defined and unique characters, decent narrative and adversary systems, and supposedly a challenging yet not punishing difficulty level, which sounds awesome. On top of that, the missions and the content will be dynamically generated each time, so that kind of keeps things fresh, which is important for a roguelite. You can earn prestige as you play, which you can spend on unlocking characters, um, class variations, and other perks. And there is a, an overarching narrative that unfolds over the span of many runs, which again adds to that replayability. On top of that, not everything is reset, so you can unlock up to 13 unique classes. Uh, you can unlock gear and upgrades, droid upgrades, class upgrades, and the adversary system carries over to each run. So it sounds like there's always something to do. Now all this information I've, I've got from developers' comments, and I've not played at all yet. I've seen trailer footage. so. Anyway, without further ado, let's hop into the game. And again, I'm I'm not sure how long the beta slash early access version um, will last for, but I'm not going to go full out because I want to save myself for the actual release, which is tomorrow. Very cool artwork style. Over Norish, a small force of mysterious raiders destroys the mighty Star Union Armada. The surviving starfighters attempt to regroup, pursued by the relentless enemy squadrons. Win! Answer me. Let me know you're alive. I'm fine, Dav. Those enemy fighters are good. Really good. I'm lucky I managed to land in one piece. You get points for missing all those buildings. Ah, oh, Zub Zub crud. I've got more of those fighters on my tail. Where are they all coming from? I landed by the train to Fort Garren. If I can get to the base in time... You can get those anti-aircraft guns online. My thoughts exactly. That'll be a nice surprise for these fighters following me. Great plan. I'll come you when I'm at the base. Over and out. Alright, so... Point and click, easy enough. Click on the question mark. Not the best use of taxpayers' credits. So, this graphic style is really cool. It's... It's like a pixelated 2D, yet it's 3D. <laughs> kind of cool. Alright, let's have a little look-see. Is that the train station? Oh, I can't go to the train station. 
I'm picking up some strange signatures on that train. Something tells me they aren't commuters. These Raiders have ground troops too then, eh? Oh. Okay, here we go. Let's see how they are at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Prepare to meet my doom. <laughs> what? Shouldn't it be your doom? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think you meant your doom. Oh, never mind. This will be a cinch. I'll take him out with a cleave. Combat and Star Renegades is deterministic, meaning that you can see your enemy's actions before they execute, allowing you to defend, crit, stagger, or break them. All actions are displayed on the timeline according to their execution time in the round, except for instant actions, which execute immediately. Each round is 60 seconds. Okay. A unit's current health is shown in the status bars above the head and consist of shields, health, and armor. Any effects are also displayed above the status bar. On enemies, you can see the actions they are going to execute. Shields regenerate at the time... Oh, sorry. Shields regenerate at the end of every combat. Health and armor can be increased or healed during camping or from health and armor crates found during your mission. Right. Okay, so it wanted me to cleave. So I... Okay, I can just click on the, the dude. Some pretty badass animations. He may be dumb, but I should probably hit him before he hits me. I'll recalibrate and crit him with a slash. A crit occurs when a unit is hit before they can execute their actions. The crit bonus that is applied is shown below the attacking power's main information. Crit can do extra damage, break the enemy's attack, pierce shields or armor, damage armor, or have other devastating effects. Be careful though, enemies can also crit your heroes if they hit before they can execute their attack. Right, okay. So I guess if... You know, if, if you use an ability that takes a while to use or something, you can kind of get penalized for that, I guess, or... Guess we'll see. I want to slash. Shield down and a crit. Alright. That got his attention. I'll smash him with a Q to break him and stall his attacks. Okay, stagger. Attacks can stagger an enemy's action, delaying it to execute later in the round, allowing your squad to execute more actions and crits before the enemy can act. The amount of stagger an attack will do when it crits is shown in green beside the stagger time delay icon. Right, okay. With careful planning, you can chain attacks together to land multiple staggers on an enemy and break them by pushing them into the next round. However, enemies have a stagger limit, denoting how many times they can be staggered before they are immune. This is shown on the timeline beside their portrait. Ah, uh, okay, right. See that, that number two. An enemy's stagger limit increases again after they execute their action. So, Q. Is that a bleed? I think I saw a bleed. Time to end this. A slash should finish the job. So first impressions from this little kind of tutorial fight scene is that there seems to be a lot of mechanics, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not a simple turn-based game where you just hit attack every single round, maybe do a, a heal every like 6th or 7th round, or maybe cast a little bit of magic here and there, you know? It seems fairly engaging. And I can imagine the better you are at it, the, um, the, the more it pays off. Okay, 
I'm at the base. Just what I thought. It's been hit with some kind of EMP. Well, at least the coast is... Teleport in! Union techs have been researching that for decades. How do these guys do it? They may be more advanced than us, but at least we can take them out in a fight. Let's see how I do against, against this next one. Just remember your training and you'll be fine. Roger that. Alright, what's this? Titan hand. That, uh, equipment. Wow. I guess that the earth shifted enough to expose one of these titan hands. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I see it there. That's pretty cool. Is that denoting that as soon as I get there, I'm in range? Oh, okay. Cool. I have to say, uh, props to the art team for this. I love the art style. It's very, very nice. The Imperium will make you burn. Sounds like you could use some ointment for that. Now let's try a cleave. So if I don't do anything, does anything time down? Doesn't look like it. Alright, cleave. Got a crit on that. Oh wow. Whoops, that didn't work. Maybe a lighter touch. Let's try Hugh. All attacks have a core damage type that describes what kind of attack it is. They are light, normal, heavy, flurry, AoE, counter, and combo attacks. Adversaries may be weak to specific core damage types and take extra damage and delays from them. However, they can also be resistant or even immune to specific core damage types and take little to no damage and delays from them. All right, I, I can I can I can get on board with that. So how how would I know? What it's weak? Oh, weak versus light. I mean, obviously it's telling me to hew, but... I'd like to know why it's weak to that. That's better. Now, I, uh, now to slash him for another break. Is there a... I feel like there must be slash... Shields down. His break limit is empty. So much for delaying him. I'll have to defend to minimize damage from his flame attack. Alright, let's defend up. 50% defense. I got a burning dot on me. Okay, pal. I'm getting sick of you. Let's try to crack your armor with Sunder. Armor absorbs damage before it reaches health. The amount of damage that can be absorbed per hit is equal to the amount of armor they have. Okay, that's... Yep, that's simple enough. Attacks that can cause armor damage on a crit display the amount of armor damage done in the attack's detail. Some attacks or elemental damage types can pierce armor. While it doesn't damage the armor, it can bypass some of it and damage the enemy's health directly. Oh, that's that's kind of neat. Alright, so, Sunder. Ah, oh, hang on. Right, so if I press Z, or Z, depending on where you're watching from, you get a little more... Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so he has extra defense capabilities versus heavy attacks, which makes sense as he's a big armor boy. Weak versus light attacks, weak versus normal attacks. His attacks do pyro damage, which we've seen. And he is resistant to pyro damage, which makes sense. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
and I can see extra information by pressing X. Cool, right. Sunder. on fire. His arm is completely broken. Now to finish him off, I'll crit him with a slash. Nice. I could use those guns right about now. I've got a trail of fighters right behind me. Roger that. Yeesh. Little sister to the rescue, I guess. Roger that indeed. An AA gun. Can I interact with that? Guess not. Oh, cool. It kind of, um... Like, it'll focus the center of your screen and, and kind of, like, blur the edges of it. That's kind of cool. Fort Garen saw a lot of action in the Flux Wars, but now it's mostly used for training. Alright. Oh, what can I, uh... Oh, that was... With a banner, terminal, into the terminal. Okay, Dav, the guns are powered up. I'll lead these fighters right to you. You'll be like shooting zub zubs in a barrel. Um, where'd that ominous otherworldly ship come from? I've got a bad feel. Davian, pull up! Something else took remote control of the guns. I guess I botched the landing. I'd say so. Dav, you're alive! Gotta get out of here. Can you walk? I'm fine, just a little shaken. That was a close call. I found what you're looking for, mother. He's as pathetic as you said he'd be. Basilisk, your life, it is nothing. Kinda sounds like dad, right? Oh wow. <laughs> Not the time for jokes, Win. Remember, find his weakness and exploit it again and again. Hmm. Maybe I'm sounding like that now. Alright, use inspection mode to view a unit stats and who they are targeting. While in inspection mode, you can also view a unit's traits and effects to see what weaknesses, strengths, resistances, and immunities they have. When targeting an enemy, you are shown a prediction of the outcome of your actions on the enemy from the ground. If your actions will presumably result in the death of the enemy, then a kill shot indicator will be displayed. Damage predictions and the kill shot indicator are not always 100% accurate because many things, heals, damage buffs, defense buffs, can happen before the final blow lands, resulting in a changed outcome. Understandable. Alright, so I guess it's the... Yeah, the, the Z button that I found earlier. So... Let's have a look. Traits. Weak versus heavy attacks. Resistant to light attacks. Okay. Um. Vivisect. Here for that, then, I suppose. We'll do... Cleave? So that's how it what? two-thirds of its armor off. Win, remember that combo attack we used to practice? 
the Long Brook Dad's Grav Hopper window doing? That's the one. That was a good time to try it out again. Good idea. Just make sure we've generated enough fury first. We're here is generate fury by landing crits and breaks on the enemy. Crits generate one fury, while breaks generate three fury. Use fury to execute special actions or combo maneuvers for devastating effects. Alright. Combos are special maneuvers that cause fury and are executed by two of your heroes simultaneously. Each combo can only be executed once per combat. Combos are only available for heroes that have strong relationships, which can be increased during camping. <laughs> Alright. A little bit of broke back mountain there. Dismiss. Okay, so I guess. Cyphic Slam is the uh... Oh, so I've already got 20 Fury, that's, that's sweet. So... We'll do some more heavy attacks. And then we should be good, I guess, to do the, the special maneuver. Break! Oh, that was nice. I almost feel like I don't have to do this. Wait, I can't even do it yet. I wonder why I can't do it. Oh, does the Fury Bar need to be full, maybe? Can't remember what it said now. I guess we'll just keep, keep going for this. Nice. I wonder why it, it explained about the maneuver thing when I didn't even get to use it. Unless I could have done it and I screwed up somehow. I don't know. <laughs> A temporary setback. Mother shall soon have her victory. From the mysterious figure. Oh, okay. Maybe. Ah, oh, okay. So Fury uh, carries over. Stay back, Win. I'll take care of this guy. What he lacks in charisma, he makes up for his hideousness. Mother only wants you, Davian Cyphex. She has no interest in the female. No way you're doing this solo, Dav. We need to work together to defeat him. Alright, so he... Oh, it's Zed. Oh. Uh, so he has no traits to look at. And do more damage against people that are marked. Okay. Well, he still. Yeah, this looks like this might might do good. I suppose the whole point is to build up that fury bar. Nice crit effect. I wonder if that's worth doing. We broke him. Well, that didn't do a lot. Cyphic Slam. Davian and win, Cyphic Slam. Oh, nice. Uh, I didn't do a lot. <laughs> Enough. This is taking far too long. And the results are inevitable. Dav, get back. Be careful. Um, I wonder if I need to defend. Probably gonna do some. Obscure attack. Gonna be wrong here. Ooh. 
Uh... <laughs> okay, this must be part of the storyline. That's fine. It was like, he was even in defense. I hit for like 600. No, this, this can't be happening. Mother, I have done what you have asked. Bring me back. I cannot last much longer. Don't give up, Dav. I can't do this without you. Dav, come on, get up, please. I can't do this without you. The throne room is where you can view details on the Imperium hierarchy and all the currently known leaders, behemoths, and adversaries. Ah, okay. I understand how people were comparing um, the system to uh, is it Shadow of Mordor, Lord of the Rings game. From time to time, you'll be brought here to witness events such as deaths, promotions, introductions within the Imperium. You can also access the Imperium throne room directly from the main menu. Adversaries are the elite soldiers of the Imperium. They are stronger, tougher, and have unique special traits and abilities. They also have unique personalities, so no two adversaries are ever the same. Adversaries can also be promoted, evolve, and grow stronger whenever they are able to defeat you. Uh, adversaries are usually guarded. Oh, sorry. Adversaries are usually guarding a rare or epic reward crate. It definitely pays to get them. Okay, so there are a few planets. Wow, okay. Looks like there's gonna be quite a lot of content in this hall alone. Omega Behemoth. Kinda looks like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. I guess there's uh I don't think I can actually do anything other than look at that for now. I suppose I just exit it. Meanwhile, elsewhere. There, I found them. That's where the Imperium have invaded next. They must have already started their attack. Alright, the only thing left to do is turn you on. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'm actually going to stop the video here because I really want to play this game fully and I know, I'm pretty certain that this kind of beta preview client um, isn't too long. So yeah, I'm going to stop this video here. Um, my first impressions so far is that the gameplay is actually really fun. There's, there's a lot of um, thinking about what attacks you want to do and looking at like ailments and weaknesses etc like as you as you've seen from me playing i think that's really fun it's engaging um the adversary system i think is also a really cool idea and i've not i don't think it's in any other game other than lord of the rings um so like as a replayability factor on a roguelike game i think that's a fantastic addition so um, yeah, like, fantastic job so far in this game, and, uh, I'll definitely be purchasing it tomorrow, and I'm, I'll do, maybe I'll do, like, a, an actual proper playthrough then, so. Yep, that's it for me now. Thanks very much, guys, for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. Take it easy. Peace out.